are you able to give us an indication first off of um, how many Zimbabweans, like we're told that 250,000 registered on this process that you were on, but that uh, estimations are that there are about a million Zimbabweans in South Africa. Are you able to give us a sense of how many Zimbabweans there are in South Africa and how many are in the for formal system already? Good morning, uh, Desri. Good morning to the listeners. Thank you very much. Uh, Desri, we are dealing here with only a special uh, dispensation which was given to Zimbabweans. I did not bring the figures of how many Zimbabweans in South Africa because nobody knows. You are aware that there's a lot of illegality. Now, if I have to calculate Zimbabweans who came here via visas, I need time to, to do that. But maybe just to explain to you, we have got something called a, a study visa in South Africa for people who want to come and study here. Uh, in the calendar year from 1 January 2021 to the 31st of December 2021, 14,278 people from all over the world obtained study visas in South Africa and 3,650 where Zimbabweans only, meaning 25%, a quarter of the whole world of people who were given uh, uh, permits are Zimbabweans. Then it, we come to uh, 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 what we call a critical skills visa. The critical skills visa was given, 38% uh, of it for the whole world was given to Zimbabweans. Then we come to a general work visa. 15% of all the general work visas issued were given to Zimbabweans and relative visa. 14% of all the relative visas issued were given to Zimbabweans. Remember, this is not in relative to the African continent. This is in relative to the whole world. So it, it just gives you a, a, a sort of a, a maybe a, a, an idea of what we're talking about. Now, coming to the special uh, dispensation, to the special permit, this was issued in 2009 as a special temporary dispensation. It says so an exemption permit was is a temporary dispensation which was not supposed to be forever when it was issued because it was people have to come voluntarily to get it 250,000 250,000 Zimbabweans came when it was renewed uh, five years later 198,000 came and when it was renewed in 2017 the one which expired last year which is the question that is being discussed 178,000 people came back to take that renewal. So it moved from 250,000 to 198 to 178,000. So if you are to end the exemption period, if there are so many unlawful Zimbabwean nationals in the country, how will you be able to uh, discern who is Zimbabwean and who isn't? as you try to enforce this process? Well, Desri, uh, if you look at our, 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 our uh, uh, the statement we issued, all we said is at the end of December this year, we will no longer extend the Zimbabwean permit, which has been extended three times already. We will rather ask them to apply for regular permits like any other nationality. Remember, Desri, it's not only uh, 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 Zimbabweans who are in South Africa. People from all nationalities, from the continent, from outside the continent, from Europe, from the East, uh, they are all in the country and they are all using the Immigration Act, Act number 13 of 2002 to be in the country. Others are using the Refugee Act of 1998 to be in the country. All we are saying is, let us regularize the state of Zimbabweans via those regular immigration acts like any other nationality. So we never said no, we are terminating them, go home. We said, please apply for other uh, uh, immigration uh, permits that allow people of all nationalities to stay in South Africa. Minister, that statement you referred to is very scathing on the Helen Suzman Foundation and their mooted court action, uh, calling them uh, armchair critics and saying they are preventing a polycentric uh, process of trying to solve South African problems. You also mentioned that 
they used to be one of the stakeholders you were uh, engaging with. What happened? Where was the, the turnaround point where uh, you were not seeing eye to eye? I don't know. I'm just discovering that now. Uh, yes, they were. For instance, when I arrived in Home Affairs Day 3 in 2019, there were some new regulations that were put in, uh, which we acceded uh, later. Uh, I, I had to accede after studying them further that there were wrong regulations. One of the institutions that we were engaging with was the Helen Sussman Foundation to discuss how to deal with that. In other words, it was a constructive engagement. Now, this time around with the Zimbabwean... Desir, can I go on? Uh, of course, you can go on, Minister. Yes, I heard somebody disturbing it. Apologies come for that. Back. I don't know who they are speaking to. Yeah, okay. Thank you very much. Apology accepted. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm saying uh, uh, this time around, we issued a letter to each of the 178,000 people because we have got their files. We wrote them an email. We also sent them an SMS. We also bought editorial in newspapers to explain this whole process. We left the number there and said, those who do not understand, please come forward, use those uh, addresses we gave you to write to us for clarity. We then engaged quite a number of individuals and NGOs who were saying they want clarity on this matter. The Zimbabwean embassy, the, some of the lawyers groups that were representing them, I just forgot their names, I can give you a list. And we discussed, and some of the NGOs in South Africa, now, the Helen Sussman Foundation was one of them. When we wake up, there is this court action where a lot of propaganda is being run around us as if we are evil. When actually what we are mm. doing are within the laws of the country. Minister, the laws passed by parliament. Minister, we have time constraints. I just want to yes, ask you quickly, will you be challenging the Helen Sussman Foundation court action? Yesterday we saw the court reverse a decision by the Minister of Con Communications and Digital Technologies. Are you concerned about uh, 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 how you will fare in court against the Helen Sussman Foundation? We are going to defend it vigorously and I'm not sure why you call the issue of Minister of Telecommunication. We have won many cases. The telecommunication has won some and lost some. That's how the courts go. But at the present moment, we believe we have got our case uh, very clear. So I don't think it should be compared to any other case because they are not the same. Each case is taken on its own merit. Thank you for your time this morning, Dr. Aaron Mutzaledi, uh, the Minister of Home Affairs, uh, talking to us there uh, about the Helen Sussman Foundation, confirming that they will uh, uh, talk to us uh, for a right of reply on the story that they want to uh, challenge the minister in court.